Hi everybody. We're on our way to Livingston Manor, New York. Turn right onto Short Avenue towards Parksville. Thank you, dear. We're heading towards the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation campground at Mogo Pond in the Catskill Mountains of New York State. It's quite a long ride into the campground. It always is with DEC campgrounds. I believe this only became a DEC campground in 1960. No, it's not one of the oldest ones around. We'll be doing that one soon. Up here on the right is the Catskill Fish Hatchery. We will be going to check this out. Hi everybody. Today I'm camping at Mongo Campground, Mongo uh, DEC Campground, upstate New York in the Catskills. And on the way I saw this is a nice little fishing spot here, Mongo Creek Public Fishing Stream, State of New York, Department of Environmental Conservation. Let's see, what do we have here? Trout fishing permitted. Trout regulations April 1 to October 15th. Daily limit three trout with no more than one trout over 12. October through March, catch and release only. Artificial lures only. Hi everybody. I just arrived at my new camping site here at Mugga Pond in Livingston Manor, New York. And arrived. Okay, obviously there's the lake. This spot comes with a picnic table. It's pretty spacious. The usual DEC fire pit. Someone left me a stick for the fire. Oh, nice. I had to decide where to put the camp. If I move the table, this could be a good right. spot. First step, unpack the box. Um, basically, this is the box for my tent camping gear. All the usual stuff. It's a hot tent sleep system, this is the hammock system, and my tarp bag. I've got a rigging bag with a couple of hanks of paracord and a bunch of spikes, nice steel spikes. There's the stove, I'll be setting that up later, and a bunch of kitchen stuff, my lantern, Coleman fuel, and my barbecue, neat item. You've seen it before. I'll show you in a little bit. Okay. First thing is to set up a string line. Let's not forget. It's buggy already. It's windy. It's springtime in the Catskills. It's buggy time. Welcome back to camp.
I finally found the gas station where there was a little bit of internet service and I was able to get some directions. I had to search for a market and luckily there was one within about 14 minutes of where I was when I checked. I went there, I was down in Parksville. I got all the supplies we some needed. Necessities, milk, eggs, butter, bread, that kind of thing. I had meat already and frozen in my cooler. So it was a relatively inexpensive trip. I got wood at $8 a bundle, a very generous bundle. We're gonna relax the rest of the day, maybe take a walk later, that's about it. The website is right in those woods right there. And right down the block is the fishing pier. They have a ramp, but you're not supposed to launch trailer-borne boats, only hand launching. This is the fishing pier. Always nice to see free firewood at the beginning of the camping season. We're walking down, this looks like a day use area, barbecue pits coming up ahead. It's nice that you don't have to walk up on the main road up there. We can walk along the, the lake. Normally they have boat rentals here, kayaks and canoes, rowboats. Not until Memorial Day. Looks like a bit of a sandy beach. Bathrooms. Showers are over there. It's beautiful. Beautiful goose out there singing for us. Ooh, this is the public swimming area at Mongup Campground. This is a New York State Department of Environmental Conservation campground in Sullivan County in the Catskill Mountains of New York. Restricted area, no trespassing for any purpose whatsoever. Okay, so we won't go past that sign, that's for sure. It looks like they're aerating the water that's going down to the, uh, there's a nursery down the block, a hatchery for trout, which is probably what that is. Yeah, don't touch that. It's a real pretty sight. That is my policy. No dogs in the day use area. Mm, people are eating. Okay, there is no cell service here at this campground, so this is your friend here. I just made a collect call home to let the wife know that I was still breathing. And all is well. This is the shower room, or the showers. I'm not gonna go in with the camera. You guys know what showers look like. Well, we're gonna stroll through the day use area on our way back to camp. It's really nice. We'll be back with more. So day two was basically uneventful. Well, we really just only supplied, took a ride into town, which took forever. Made a couple of burgers, got the fire going, and that's about it for the day. Because we are going into the night. It's a quarter after seven. It's about 8.30 on day two at Mogo Pond. Looks like pollen in the water. Day three. Mogo Pond. Nice quiet weekday like this. This is a very pretty spot. There's a little mother goose sitting on the beach with her goslings, a couple of ducks. 
I'm gonna go way around this so I don't bother her. She has enough trouble on the weekend. She doesn't need me. This is a nice spot. Okay, let's stop. This is a good place to set up the next episode. We're gonna be visiting each of these loops in sequence A, B, and C. We're gonna take a little video of each campsite for you. Okay, this is loop D, 93 to 107. Welcome to site 93, and I mean that literally. This is my site. Beautiful. It's like the first site in the park. It's right next to the fishing piers on the way in. There's my setup. Nice fire pit, picking cable. Beautiful view of the lake. Okay, we're back on the tour, way back on that road back there. I walked down this path. There's no restriction signs, so I don't really have to worry. Just came past these two old buildings. And this little path comes down here to a beautiful spot. It was worth a little diversion. These might be daffodils. Be a good guess. It's a nice view from here. Check it out. All throughout the park there are beautiful little stone walls and accents and details that they put when they put in when they put together the park. I'd like to take a second to notice them. This is the Big Rock Trail to Flynn Trail, Big Rock Trail, 1.8 miles, Hodge Pond at 2.6 miles, Frick Pond 3 miles, Frick Pond Trail at 3.5 miles. Snowmobiling trails. Something I must try. Snowmobiling. Get that creek. Keeps drawing me back. My childhood. Okay, we're gonna leave her alone. Welcome to D4. Okay, today is Wednesday. It's our last full day here in camp, so we're gonna go take a walk through the Mungup Valley, and we're gonna go see a fish hatchery. Just checked in with the guard booth, let them know I was gonna be taking a walk. If I don't come back in five hours, they will send out a rescue squad for me. Very nice people, very friendly. And again, I know I'm kind of overstating it, but they do a great job here. And all along the right-hand side is state land. This looks like private land. Oh, this is a nice old trail. Now, this is labeled no motor vehicles allowed beyond this point. Without going all the way down to the bottom of the hill, there's a bridge going across the creek and up into the hills. So, I would imagine this is a snowmobile trail in the winter. Well, it's always a snowmobile trail, right? Just no snow. Holy mackerel, the bugs, the bugs. Springtime in the Catskills, kids. Bring bug spray, bring a bug net if you really don't like bugs. My hand is all blown up from being bitten. Down the road to the fish hatchery. 
Okay, now on the opposite side of the road, I see my first indication. This is a restricted area, no trespassing for any purpose whatsoever, pursuant to section 11-0321. That side is state land. This side is forbidden. We're continuing our walk. There's another restricted sign right there. We're on our way to the fish hatchery in Mogup Valley. You can see some trout. Welcome to the Catskill State Fish Hatchery. It's the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation. There's their website, go check them out. Visiting hours from 8.30 to 3.30, weather permitting, it is gorgeous out. If you're a visitor, park there. Don't touch the electric fence. I get a kick out of that. No fishing, that's great. Hmm. First water fishing regulations. It could be interesting to have. You read this if you like. So progressively, as you go down, the fish get larger. These are little wee ones, like that big, the middle one, and the lower ones full of big ones. They're very aware of your presence here. As you walk by the water, they all scatter. Sounds awful. These are real little ones. I don't know how much you can see through the water, but these are about that big. They look like minnows. The gentleman up there is just doing some house cleaning. Cleaning the uh, separating bins. Again, I'm gonna say it again out loud. Everyone can hear it. All these people that work for the Department of Environmental Conservation are doing fantastic work. I'm here to help and they're doing the right thing. So good for them. Thanks again, thank you very much everybody. The time is about 10.35. We made that walk in about 40 minutes. We took our time. It's mostly uphill going back, so it should take a bit longer. Okay. Hi, everybody. It's still Wednesday. I've been recuperating from my long walk down to the fish hatchery this morning. It was quite a walk. It was downhill all the way there and uphill all the way back. So I've got a new blister on my left big toe that I dealt with. My hands have been insect bitten and they're all inflamed, so I don't have any knuckles. <laughs> it happens. A lot of insects. I'm sure this rain isn't going to make that situation much better, but this is the first rain I've had in this tent so far. So dry, not a problem. And I think that might be the end of the rainstorm. It was supposed to have some thunder involved. I didn't hear any. This could just be the first band. I'll bring you back if we get any more interesting weather. Oh, about 15 minutes later and the sun is out again. Like the old saying in the Catskills goes, if you don't like the weather, just wait 10 minutes or so. It'll change. Get back to collecting some firewood tonight. It's supposed to get cold. I heard there's a frost warning for tomorrow. I'm not exactly sure where. But, uh, I heard we could go down below freezing tonight, so it'd be a good test for the, the llama hot stove. And we are camping in the hot tent. It's a hammock hot tent, but we're not using the hammock. I've got my cot set up. It's a mess. Um, I haven't set up for the evening yet. And it just started raining, so I threw everything on top of it. My pack and all my stuff, my, my rain jacket. Uh, this is the first rain we've had since we got here on Sunday, so I'm not complaining about the weather. I try not to. It doesn't help. 
but uh, if anything, we could use the rain up here. We never have enough. Okay. Thanks again, guys. Okay. I just figured I'd chime in again. <clears throat> it feels like uh, the front passed by and it's suddenly getting colder. In the last few minutes, temperature's been dropping. It's exactly what they said was going to happen on the weather forecast. So this is kind of what we're hoping for. Uh, I want to have a cold night to get a good test on the uh, the llama wood stove, the hot tent stove. It's gotten awfully windy. I'll give you a quick look at the tent blowing in the wind. It's not placid and quiet anymore. Windy, choppy. It's eight o'clock on Wednesday. Tomorrow we pack up and go home. The storm has passed, the wind has died down, everything is peaceful again. I've got my wood all lined up here for the stove. Place the glass globe with this metal screen one. Less likely to break it. Seems to work pretty well. Just after seven o'clock in the morning, I had to wake up four times to fill up the uh, stove of wood, and then I just hunkered down and, and fell asleep. It was about about four a.m. was the last time I filled it up. Three eggs, a piece of ham, and a piece of white American cheese. And we're gonna put it on, this is really cool. These are ballpark everything buns. So it's kind of like an everything bagel, hamburger bun. Mm. Some geese. Okay, everybody, it's time to leave Mungup Pond Campground in Sullivan County in the Catskill Mountains. Okay, we're at the recycling center. I just got rid of what rubbish I had. Now I'm getting ready to go on the road, and we're heading back to Long Island. I'm dying to get home to see my wife and my dog on the road. If we see something interesting, we will stop.